Have you ever pondered about the crucial role boundaries play in your relationships? Well, let's delve into this topic. You see, boundaries are the invisible lines that demarcate our personal space, both physically and emotionally. They are the unsung heroes that maintain the equilibrium in our relationships, be it with family, friends, or romantic partners. Now you might ask, why do boundaries matter so much? Think of them as the guardrails on the highway of your interactions. They keep you from veering off into the dangerous territory of resentment and burnout, ensuring you stay on the road of mutual respect and understanding. Firstly, setting boundaries is an act of self-respect and self-care. It's about acknowledging your own worth, recognizing your needs, and taking steps to ensure those needs are met. It's about making sure you're not overextended, protecting yourself from unnecessary stress. Secondly, boundaries instill mutual respect. By clearly communicating your limits, you're inviting others to understand and respect your needs. This reciprocation forms the bedrock of trust, strengthening the bond between you and your loved ones. Thirdly, boundaries act as a resentment repellent. Without them, you might feel exploited or disrespected, leading to bitterness and conflict. But with boundaries in place, each person's needs are acknowledged and respected, keeping resentment at bay. Lastly, boundaries help maintain individuality within a relationship. They prevent you from losing yourself in the relationship, ensuring you retain your unique identity. They serve as a reminder that while you may be part of a duo or a group, you're still your own person. Clearly, boundaries are no trivial matter. They are the pillars that uphold the health and integrity of our relationships. They are an essential tool for navigating the complex world of interpersonal interactions, fostering healthier, happier, and more fulfilling relationships. So, the next time you find yourself in a relationship, remember the importance of setting boundaries. They are not just lines in the sand, they are the lifelines of your relationship. Now that we understand the importance of boundaries, how do we go about establishing them? This, my friends, is where the journey really begins. The first step on this path is self-reflection. It's about understanding your values, recognizing your needs, and identifying your limits. Consider past experiences. Identify moments where you felt uncomfortable or stressed due to a lack of boundaries. Use these moments as a guide to understand what boundaries you need to establish. Once you've identified your boundaries, it's time to communicate them, and clear communication is absolutely vital here. It's about expressing your boundaries in a way that's assertive, yet respectful. It's about standing your ground without stepping on others. A useful tool in this process is using I statements. For example, I feel uncomfortable when, or I need some space when. These statements express your needs without blaming or criticizing the other person. But here's the thing, setting boundaries is one thing, maintaining them is another. And this is where consistency comes into play. It's not enough to just say what your boundaries are, you have to uphold them. This might mean reminding others about your boundaries when they forget, or reinforcing your boundaries when they're crossed. It's not always easy, but remember, this is about self-care and self-respect. Now, while you're setting your own boundaries, remember that it's just as important to respect the boundaries of others. This mutual respect is what creates a balanced and healthy relationship dynamic. But if this process of setting and maintaining boundaries becomes challenging, don't hesitate to seek support. Friends, family, or a therapist can provide guidance and reinforcement when you need it. Finally, remember that boundaries aren't set in stone. As life changes, as our relationships evolve, our boundaries might need to adjust as well. It's a continuous process of self-reflection and communication, but with each step, you're building healthier, more respectful relationships. Remember, it is not enough to just set boundaries. Consistency is key in maintaining them. And with that, let's move on to the next part of our journey, respecting others' boundaries and seeking support. Establishing boundaries is a two-way street. While setting your own boundaries, remember to respect those set by others. Respecting others' boundaries is just as critical as establishing your own. It's a demonstration of understanding and empathy, acknowledging that each of us has unique needs, preferences, and limits. Respecting boundaries means honoring the other person's space, time, and emotions, and not overstepping or disregarding their clearly communicated limits. It's a fundamental aspect of mutual respect, ensuring that all parties in a relationship feel valued, heard, and protected. However, setting and maintaining boundaries isn't always a walk in the park. It can be challenging, especially when old patterns of behavior need to be unlearned and new ones established. It's in these instances that seeking support becomes incredibly important. 
Support can come from various places. Trusted friends who can offer their perspective, family members who provide comfort and reassurance, or even professional therapists who can provide expert guidance. These sources of support can provide the necessary reinforcement to stand firm in your boundaries and offer strategies for effectively communicating them to others. Remember, everyone is navigating their personal journey with boundaries. It's okay to reach out, to ask for help, to seek advice. It's okay to lean on others as you learn to stand up for yourself in the context of your relationships. Don't forget that it's okay to seek help when navigating the tricky terrain of boundaries. Just like relationships, boundaries are not static, they evolve and change over time. Indeed, boundaries are not set in stone. As we grow and evolve, our needs and values may shift. Consequently, our boundaries may also need to be adjusted. This is a natural part of personal growth and the evolution of relationships. It's important to regularly assess whether our established boundaries still serve us well, or if they need to be amended. For example, if you've taken on a new job that requires more of your time, you may need to adjust your boundaries to ensure you're not feeling overwhelmed. Or, if you've started a new relationship or friendship, you might find that your previous boundaries need to be re-evaluated to suit the dynamics of this new connection. There could also be instances where you realize a certain boundary was too rigid and needs to be relaxed, or perhaps too lenient and needs to be tightened. This is perfectly normal. Life is a series of changes and adjustments, and our boundaries should reflect this fluidity. It's also worth noting that as our boundaries change, it's crucial to communicate these changes to the people affected. Remember, effective boundary setting is as much about clear communication as it is about self-reflection and consistency. In conclusion, the setting and adjusting of boundaries is an ongoing process. It's a journey of self-discovery and negotiation, a testament to our growth and our dynamic relationships. Remember, setting boundaries is not a one-time task. It's a continuous process that requires attention and adjustment.